Ben, over here. What are you doing? <laughs> you would be running. What, you're not happy to see me? Shut up. <laughs> Wait. Is that your breakfast? Body beautiful just comes naturally to me. We don't all have to work at it. <laughs> Get lost. That is so not a good look. Ben? Ben! It's a waste of time. Excuse me. Has my son been brought in? What's his name, mate? Ben. And ben Mason. Just checked on the system, yeah? Well, the school said the ambulance was on its way. Are you sure they were bringing him here? Yeah, I'm sure. They said he was unconscious or something. OK, well, don't panic. They'll probably be in transit. Right. I'll take you through. OK. Cheers. He collapsed through across country. Blacked out or something. OK. Ah, Tess, um, this gentleman believes his son's coming in. Ben Mason? Ah, right, yeah, I've got him in the back of my ambulance. We're just trying to find somewhere for him now, sir. My boy's been left out in the car park. I've got a cubicle for you, Mac. Oh, there we are, then. All right, so if you want to come with me, yeah. I'll take you to him. 60 and BM's 5.6. All right, any dizziness, Ben? Oh, nothing. Just a headache. No, he said he didn't have one. Sorry, I need to hear it from Ben. Okay. I'm fine. Yeah. I just felt weird. He was out running. Did you say that? He was out running. Mr Mason, please. When was the last time you ate? He's, he's on a special diet. He's an athlete, you know? He's, he's in training. Thank you. Right, I think we need a head CT, and I don't think a sandwich would go amiss. Right. Uh, which one would you like? So we've got tuna or cheese? So, son, you were definitely running, yeah? I don't really remember that. Did you feel like a cramping, a seizure kind of thing, man? The doctor's supposed to be asking you these oh, things, not I just me. felt odd, and then the next minute I was on the floor. On the floor? So you stopped running, do you remember that? I just don't remember all right, Dad. You've got to right. remember, son. I mean, we can't waste these people's time. Plus, we don't pay, but scans cost money. Dad, uh... Look at Mr. Mason. Oh. I'm just... Listen, you need to keep yourself calm, OK? okay. For your son's sake. Yeah, sorry, sorry. OK. Yeah, you're right. Nice? Yeah, he's all right. Bit controlling? <laughs> yeah, you noticed. <laughs> Hey, hey, how's it going, mate? Yeah, I'm fine. Come down, yeah, come. How did it go? Yeah, um, didn't hurt much. I had, had 20 stitches. 20 what? Why wasn't I called? I should have been there. 20 stitches? He's winding you up. Don't do that. <laughs> I just had to lie there. It was really quick. Yeah. Right, lay yourself back and I'll go and let the doctor know you're here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I've been waiting for ages. Got a lot on, have you, my lovely? Well, you know, I've just been... Sorting myself out. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah. easy. Yeah. So, who have we here? Oh, hi, Ella. Right, Ben, good news. Scan's all clear. Ah, oh, that's a relief. All right, do you want to take a look? Yeah, let's have a look at that. Um, um, yeah. So, everything's normal. So, does that mean he just fainted then, yeah? Um, well, still assessing him, Mr. Mason. Okay. Could you fold your thumb in and make a fist? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you feel cold often? Yeah, he's always turning up the central heat at home. Same time. Mm -hmm. I just need to listen to your chest. Can you pull the camera? Yeah. Do you want some help? It's all right, OK. How tall are you? Oh, um, he was six foot when he was 13. He's about six foot now. Yeah, about yeah. that. Yeah. There are many tall people in your family. Yeah, his mum was nearly six foot. His uncle's six foot four. But he gets his good looks from Thank me. You. Well, the head injury isn't an issue for me, but I would like to run some tests. Why? Well, I suspect Ben has a condition called Marfan syndrome. Sounds like she's calling you a Martian, son. <laughs> it's a connective tissue disorder. It's usually hereditary, and Ben shows all the physical characteristics. Why? Because he's tall. There's loads of tall people out there. No, no. I'm um, sorry. Can I pull your gown down again? Yeah. You look at the uh, dip in his chest. Yeah? And um, can you make the fist again for me? You see how his thumb sticks out? If you and I do it, it doesn't. Right. That's indicative of Marfan's. OK. OK. I'll be back. I just need a piece of equipment. OK. Are you sure he hasn't just got long fingers? I mean, he's got long toes. You check his toes. Um, I'm a little concerned about your weight. Have you always been this thin? You wouldn't believe this, right? But when he was younger, he was a right little porker. Don't. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. But you got to admit, huh? 18 stone just over a year ago? Oh, damn. No, look at him. Mr oh. Mason, at Ben's height, he should be over 12 stone. He's 10. Yeah, but you got to admire the boy. I mean, it was me that got you into the running, wasn't it? It was that old Bus basketball, yeah. Just so natural, like he's dead. All right, then, the reason you're feeling cold is because you're not getting enough food. He runs 10K a day. He's hardly at death's door. He's in A&E. &E. Because he fainted, not because he was hungry. First you say he's tall, now you say he's thin. I could have told you that. Sorry, should we? What? <clears throat> 
All right, I'm going to put this as plainly as I can. Yeah? It is incredibly dangerous to lose that much weight so quickly. Right. Next thing you'll be telling me that he's anorexic. Oh, do me a favour. Huh? Listen, you're not labelling my boy with some girly eating disorder, right? He needs help. Give him a break. He's got enough problems as it is. You mean physical problems? No, he's, uh, you know, he thinks he's gay. Mr. Mason, being gay is not a mental condition. Listen, the last thing he needs is people like you pandering to him, all right? What? Get dressed, we're going. What? Come, 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 no. come. Look, I need to properly assess him. I need to look at this Marfin suit. Marsh? Oh, yeah, of course. He's an alien as well, isn't he? Yeah, nice one. Come on, come on, get your shoes. Mr. Mason, I yes. strongly advise you don't do this. Goodbye. He has a very serious condition I need to look at. What do you do? Do you mind if I wait here? You all right? Yeah, I just can't move very far. All right, I'll go and get the van, yeah? You good? Yeah. That'll freak if he sees you. I needed to know you were OK. Did you bunk off? I was terrified. Sorry. They reckon I just fainted. <laughs> you lightweight. <laughs> so, what did you tell them happened? The truth. That was on a run. <laughs> hey, I'll be back soon. You should go. I'm not leaving you like this. You all right? Yeah, thanks. Sure. What are you doing here? Hey, just get away from me. Just... Son, what happened? Uh, it's the same as before. Before? You, you was with him? He said he was doing cross country. Can I get some help here, please? It was a woman, Doctor. I think she was in charge. Snooty tight. Ah, uh, Mrs. Beecham. Just go away, right? We don't want you here, yeah? Go. What happened? He's got a very irregular pulse, feels like AF, and probably a rapid ventricular response. Right, I'm pretty sure he's morphoid. Suspect complication from mitral valve prolapse. We need a line in, IVM, iodurone, and oxygen, please. Tess, is the echo still in the department? I'll fetch it. Thank you. Shall we repeat the ECG? Yes, please, Charlie. We'll need BM and blood gases again. What's happening, please? All right, try not to worry, Mr. Mason. Let's wait outside, shall we? Right. I should be here with my son. Don't worry, we'll fetch you back in as soon as we can. We just let these folks do their jobs. You're doing really well, Ben. Just breathe for me. And he had a heart attack. No, he's got an abnormal rhythm in his heart. His heart's beating too fast is what's happening. Yeah, the doctor, she tried to warn me. Well, don't worry. He's in very good hands. We know how to sort this, all right? OK. What's happening? Why are you still here? I told you to go. Sorry, who are you? I'm Liam. I'm his, uh, Ben's boyfriend. I think it might be best if you wait somewhere else for a moment. Kojo, can you take this gentleman to the relatives' room? Hold on a minute, the relatives' no, room? No, you hold on. Liam is obviously upset. He obviously cares for your son. Look, I don't care about Liam. He's not a relative. He shouldn't be here. Still in AF, but the rate's down to 120. Is that good? Really good. Cal, any thoughts? Mild atrial enlargement. Mm -hmm. Left ventricle is volume overloaded. Prolapse of both mitral valve leaflets causing severe mitral reflux. Very good. All right, Ben, that means one of the valves in your heart isn't closing properly. Is that serious? Well, mitral valve problems are common in people with Marfan syndrome. Want me to call cardiology? Yeah, that'd be great, thank you. Aniston, they've moved at a Hancock for assessment. Why? Well, Lily made out that you knew. Oh, Lily. This, all of this is, is it my fault? The heart problems to do with Marfin syndrome, he was probably born with it. So it's not my fault? Rapid weight loss wouldn't have helped. Starving himself would have put a huge strain on his body. He can't be anorexic. Anorexia is about control. Right, the running, the need to be thin, it all fits. Gay thing. Has that caused it? Being gay would have caused him to be anorexic. But worrying about it 
and being unhappy about it just might have. Do you know where the relative from is? Yeah, um, it's just through there. Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason, can I remind you that this is a hospital? Look, I just want a friendly chat, all right? Not trouble? I hope not. Keep an eye on him. Will do. He's now all right. We don't want him tired out. We're about to move him to a ward. Uh, Mr. Mason. Thanks. This one's not going away, is it? Doesn't look like it. If you don't mind me saying, I think you're doing the right thing. Thanks. <coughs> Your dad let me in. Thanks, man. It's fine. It's good for you guys, but... 